Hi there, when Amazon announced their new Kindle Paperwhite, they added a feature that I really was not expecting to be added to a Kindle, and that is wireless charging. Now this isn't a feature you get on the baseline Kindle Paperwhite, it only comes on the signature edition, but what's even more interesting is wireless charging is not available on the high-end premium Kindle Oasis. So this is very intentional that Amazon only made it available for the signature edition on the Kindle Paperwhite. Here's the problem though, it makes absolutely no sense for a Kindle to have wireless charging as a feature. And I really don't understand why Amazon is making this such a big selling point for their most popular Kindle. In today's video, I'll be spending a bit of time talking about if wireless charging is actually worth having on a Kindle. We're first gonna talk about the Kindle wireless charger accessory that Amazon is selling, doing a little review on that. Then afterwards, I'll be sharing my thoughts on why I personally feel it makes no sense to have wireless charging on a Kindle. Now before I talk about wireless charging, I have to make a disclaimer over here. What really matters at the end of the day is reading books on your Kindle. Features like wireless charging are really nice to have, but they really don't change the fact that Kindles are bent for reading and having a mindful, present experience while reading books on your device. And while I'm talking about books, I often get asked what books I like to read, and I actually just recently launched a new newsletter called Bookmarks. Every single Wednesday, I share the books I'm currently reading and the lessons I've currently learned from those books. If that sounds interesting to you, link for that down below. Now, if you have a Kindle Paperwhite signature Edition and you actually want to use the wireless charging feature, you're probably gonna wanna buy the actual charging station that Amazon is selling for this purpose. This is a charging dock made by a company called Anchor, but it's designed specifically for Amazon and more specifically for the Kindle Paperwhite. In terms of cost, this charger costs $29. On top of the $189, you're at $220 now. And on top of that, if you buy a cover for $30, the cheapest cover they sell, now you're at $250 for the whole package. You can buy a more expensive cover and go even higher than that. It's just a really interesting point to note the starting point of a Kindle might be 139 for the Kindle Paperwhite, but if you get the higher model as well as the accessories, you're paying over 250 in some cases. Now you're probably wondering in your mind, hey Manith, I already have a wireless charging pad at home that I use for my phone. Why can't I just use my Kindle on that? And you're right, you can use that if you want to, but it probably won't work very well. The Kindle Paperwhite is a very large device compared to your phone, so it may not fit on your existing wireless charging docks, especially if they're standing upright, it may not fit properly. If you have one that's laying flat on the surface, that will probably work better, but it'll probably flop around a little bit depending on the size of your charging pad. The charging coils on the Kindle Paperwhite are on the back of the device, right in the center. So no matter what charging pad you use, you have to line those coils up directly on the middle back of the device. Now in terms of the charging dock itself, I don't really have many thoughts. It's very simple. It's a really good price you're paying for it for what you're getting. It's a very solid wireless charger. I like the fabric backing they have of where the Kindle is resting on. And it's also a very nice plastic material on the base of the charger. It holds the Kindle Paperwhite exactly in that base. It's a very premium look look when you put the Kindle on it. There are two things I don't like about this charging dock though. The cable that you plug into the charging station that goes back into the wall is not USB-C. They have their own little plug over here, which is kind of annoying. Then also the indicator light on the front of the device is just always white. It doesn't really tell you when the Kindle is fully charged. It just turns white when it's charging and it stays that way the entire time, even after it's fully charged. The charging dock does work with all the Amazon cases and if you have a third-party case, it'll probably work with that. As long as it's not too thick of a case, you can still wirelessly charge your Kindle. Same thing with your phone. You can charge your phone wirelessly as well with the case on it. Same rule applies for the Kindle too. Now let me actually talk about why I think this is not worth getting. Wireless charging, it just makes no sense on a Kindle. Here's the first reason. The battery life on Kindles last for weeks at a time. Wireless charging is meant to be a convenience feature. The reason why we have it on our phone phone is those devices have to be charged on a daily basis. Having to plug into a charger every single time is kind of annoying at night. All you have to do now with a wireless charger is put it on a dock, it's charging. You charge these devices every single day. Having that option is very important for that convenience. On a Kindle though, you don't really have to do that. You can charge this thing once and you're good for weeks at a time. It makes no sense 
having to wirelessly charge your Kindle because you have this charging dock that's sitting in your home that you don't really have to use except once a month, basically. Yes, you can put your Kindle back on this charging dock every time after you read it. It'll always be fully charged. You can do that, absolutely, but you don't have to do that. I would much rather prefer to have the Kindle out by itself, takes much less room than having a whole charging dock sitting on my table at all times just for the convenience of having my Kindle fully charged. My Kindle is already gonna be charged 99% of the time. Having this charging station is just extra space that you have to utilize. The second reason why I don't agree with wireless charging on Kindles is that these devices are just too big. You have to really buy this special charger to make this charging situation work for you. It's not very common to have a charging station that is designed to work with these larger style devices. This is why we don't see wireless charging available on most tablets. iPads don't support wireless charging because you'd have to use a very big charging dock for that to work. Those batteries are also much bigger, so wireless charging them takes a lot longer. With the Kindle, the size is just barely small enough to make sense for wireless charging. If this device was any bit bigger than this, it really would be looking ridiculous on your table having this giant charging dock supporting this device. If wireless charging was standard on iPads and other tablets and we already had standard wireless charging for these larger devices, then I wouldn't be complaining as much. But because this is such a weird thing for a Kindle of this size to have wireless charging, it definitely stands out from the crowd in terms of larger form devices. In the last last reason why I feel wireless charging is not worth it on a Kindle is because of traveling. I travel with my Kindle all the time. Every weekend when I go out and about, if I'm traveling for the weekend or something like that, I bring my Kindle with me. And I don't want to have to bring a wireless charging dock with me to use to charge my Kindle. I just use my laptop charger, my iPad charger. I have one charger in my backpack for all my devices. That's the beauty of USB-C. When you're traveling with the Kindle, the wireless charging feature is not used at all. It's only functional when you have your dock at home in the same place every single day. This might be a unique thing for me, but I probably bet out there there's other people who travel with their Kindles and having a wireless charging dock really won't be much use for them. At the end of the day, wireless charging is a really nice to have feature. If you have it and you have the money for a dock, it's really cool to have. I have this model over here. I have it on the charger basically all day, except for the times I'm reading and I just put it back on the dock. It works fine, but 99% of people don't need this feature. And I don't really agree with Amazon promoting it as a selling point for their higher end device. It's not something that most people need. This is actually very similar to my thoughts on storage capacity and Kindles, very similar. I have a whole video talking about that too. Link for that on the screen right now. If you enjoyed this video, you'll probably like that one too. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.